Okay, guys, now, I was thinking about Shakespeare. I'd uploaded um, a Shakespeare play yesterday and nobody, nobody seemed to engage with it. Didn't get any views or listens. So I was thinking, oh, that's a real shame. So I love a bit of Shakespeare. But then I thought, perhaps I should do something new with Shakespeare. So I've created something called the Quillmatic Bardinator. And the, Quilmot- the Quilmatic Bardinator, which is a mouthful, creates postmodern poetry in the style of Shakespeare. Great fun. So shall I read it? This is sonnet number one. I'll try and do one every day. Upon a day of modern sorrows deep, I lost my cherished friend, a device so sleek. No more the gentle hum of texts would peep, silenced the calls that once did joy bespeak. In pockets deep, where keys and coins do roam, my faithful phone, alas, did meet its fate. No more its screen would warmly welcome home The touch of fingers in a dance so great. Oh, woe is me, for contacts lost in space. No more the selfies captured in delight. A silent void, a cold and lifeless place As passwords guard a memory so bright. Yet in this tech bereft, a lesson clear to cherish moments now and hold them dear. Copyright 2023, Quillmatic Bardinator. What do you think, guys? I'm, I think it's great. I think it's hilarious. I mean, I would say it's slightly... Is it satirical? I don't know if it qualifies as satirical. Um, um, a, a slight amusement, I think, is, is the closest the closest I can get to... Um, comedy per se. I mean, it, it's not um, LOL, is it? But a bit of fun, a bit of fun. So my trick is to um, think of something really postmodern, a, a po- some postmodern angst, um, some postmodern disease or postmodern situation, um, you know, things like that love affairs but in a postmodern setting setting do you see what i mean so uh, but then put through my um my shakespearean channel i'm channeling shakespeare um i think it's great fun really good fun so i hope you like that um other news what other news toddle poddle i set up oh it's, it's hectic you know i've got basically i have four strands to my my business okay i've got the tattoo club which has its own video tv channel it has its own app it has its own twitter and it has its own podcast so now i've got to set up all the others and it's just oh guys honestly so anyway today i've done toddle poddle so we've got a toddle poddle blog a toddle poddle twitter a toddle poddle tv channel which is part of tale teller club so that i'm not doing a separate one um yet but i probably will do eventually a video on demand. In fact, I might do. I just might do that today. Actually, talk myself into it. I mean, I've got a bit of. Um, I have got some things I can put up there. Yeah, I'll do it today, which will include podcasts and what have you. I've. It's also got its own podcast. Toddle Poddle has its own freestanding podcast. Lots of kids stuff, and um, you know, I write. I've written quite a lot of kids books, short stories and um, lyrics and things like that. So now I have four businesses, right? And I was thinking, I can't do them every day. It's just too much. So it's time to have, you know, a day per business. Do you see what I mean? Or maybe two per day. And then, you know, that sort of takes me... What, what would that be? With And a day off? Or two days off? Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh, gosh, I can't work it out. Yeah, maybe two per day... And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, do what the hell I like. Socialise or have some fun with something. I mean, I, what I do notice with Twitter is it's very business orientated. Very much so. I haven't made any friends there. I'm not chatting to anyone in the way that one does, one did with Facebook. Do you see what I mean? Um, is that disappointing? A little bit. It's quite isolating. You've just got your business head on all the time. 
but I suppose it's going to encourage me to be a bit more friendly and a bit more, you know, do do a few more things. So I don't. Nobody really needs to be doing. You see, I think Twitter stopped showing my post yet yesterday because I did too many. Um, so I thought, ah, oh, right, okay, well that's a thing. So therefore, I shouldn't do too many. I should just do a couple each morning, you know. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And the thing with Twitter is you can have. Um, Lots and lots of different Twitter accounts. You can have 100 if you want. I mean, I'd never have that many. I'd die. I've got four and it's I'm dying already. Um, so, that, yeah, that was a, bit, a little bit difficult. I got a little bit overwhelmed this morning. I also started to get a migraine aura um, from, lo- you know, looking at too much screen. So I've got to turn on my, my um, you know, the contrast down a bit. It's all a bit too much. I mean... You know, in graphics, they tell you contrast is everything online. Um, and I did have a bit of trouble doing the Quillmatic Bardinator's um, flyer because these these are all on flyers now. So that every day I will share the flyer around, all around, um, you know, the internet. So you'll get to know it. So re- I'm really excited about him, actually. <clears throat> I quite like being a man. I quite like, you know, a bit of uh, sort of transgender poetry I mean it doesn't really make any difference to you know I'm, I mean I'm not I, don't, I haven't suddenly developed a packet <laughs> a package down below but I quite like the idea of being rather slightly genderless and I've got Flex you see Flex um, is one of my characters from the band Telltale Club and he's a he and Renike's a he obviously so I've got as a writer you do have these characterizations. Hey, I tell you what, I could spend three days writing, couldn't I? And four days doing all the other stuff, the boring stuff. I'll do that. I'm going to write today. Um, so, yeah, um, back to what my line of thought. You can tell I've been, I'm a bit... Did you know, actually, that they, there is a suspicion that autism can be caused or triggered by overstimulation? So they tell you don't let your kids watch um the you know watch screens um before they're one before their first birthday. That's really interesting, isn't it? I wonder if I'm a bit overstimulated in the last week. I mean, I think we all are. I I really do believe that it's sending us all a bit doolally. But you have to know when to come off it. So I'm going to spend the day doing housework and you know Stuff like that. I mean, technically, it's it's coming close to my days off. Um, you know, I've worked really, really hard. I think that's a good idea, don't you? Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and sort of Thursdays in a slightly half-hearted way. <laughs> I know it's Thursday because it's Grandma Pocket Day. I've got pocket money day. I've got to give everyone pocket money today. That's me out of pocket. Um, so, yeah, anyway, a bit of housework. So... Talking of the keep fit, I've ordered my lights, obviously, and I'm, I'm waiting for those to come. Um, I'm clearing out the studio so that I could, I've actually got room to keep fit in it. And I'm just about to go off and buy some um, backdrops and other accessories um, and really sort of waiting. Can't wait for the new year to do that. And remember that that, um, that side of the business is also on Telltale Club Academy of Arts over on Vimeo, um, but I have got an extra channel, which I I think it, it may be... Guys, I think it may be an indulgence. I think the tattooing... You know, I discovered very early on I didn't really want to tattoo people I didn't know. I think it's, it's such a personal thing. I mean, it's almost like... I think it's like having sex with people. You know, it, it, you're really getting down into their... the nuances of their existence... I mean, even even if it's just a, an arm tattoo, you know, you're still very close to them. You can smell everything about them. And you're really invading the space. I mean, you know, I probably have got something wrong with me where I don't like touching people. Um, you know, I'm, I mean, even my husband's really. <laughs> oh, it was all right at the beginning. And then after a bit, I thought, oh, I don't want to touch you anymore. I'm done with that. And it, it didn't take long. It's after the limerence phase, isn't it? Um so I know this is probably something, it's probably my, probably my cold, um, I don't call it coldness really, it is coldness, isn't it? Or some sort of Asperger's or something. 
um, some sort of autism. Although I was never stim- overstimulated as a child. I'm pretty sure I wasn't because we were we didn't have TVs. We we didn't have a television until I was in my teens, you know. Um, well, possibly a bit earlier than that. I do remember one. I remember watching the Bay City Rollers. So that was I was quite young then. I really he was my first crush, that lead signal of the Bay City Rollers. Um, I mean proper hardcore crush I had on him. Really powerful. And I was only about nine. It's funny, isn't it? When you think back, gosh. Um, but yeah, I wasn't. You know, I didn't have. Obviously, none of us had computers then. I was born in nineteen sixty two, so no computers, no phones, no screen time, not no telly for the first, you know, nine years or so, um, and our parents just left us in the garden most of the day, and uh, it was a small garden at that. We did have pets though. I remember we had guinea pigs. We were forever having to clean them out. Um, it seemed like forever. It probably wasn't. It's was probably, it was probably quite uh, not quite enough. <laughs> because of later on, when I had children, I could never get them to clean up their cages. That we had rats, which would go. Uh, rats make fantastic pets, you know, guys. Absolutely fantastic pets. The best, most loving pets ever. Come on, Romeo, get up and over the microphone before you distress everybody. There we go. Here he is. There we go. Um, and talking of rats, the Rat Gang crew is going to be part of the storyline over at Toddle Poddle. So I'll be starting those stories. And they'll be very, very short because I don't think uh, children necessarily have, you know, really long attention spans. Um, there's so too, too many distractions. But what you can do on the podcasts, you see, you can just do them one after the other. And you can just press play and... They'll just play one after the other. Do you see what I mean? So all these stories will just come up. I think that's probably the best way to do it, actually. So I'll do that over on Toddle Puddle. Um, OK, oh, I think that's about it, guys. Um, oh, the music therapy, the Rife Vibes Healing Therapy Project um, will also have its own Twitter. Um, I just haven't done it uh, today but I may do it today I mean it's so hard organising everything honestly um, but prob- definitely before the weekend anyway so we'll have you know an- another side of the business um, coming up um, the rear to the the race you know I mean I'm not racing them against each other because um, Tailtale Club is by far the most successful because it's the oldest it's been around for a very long time but actually Tuttle Puddle has also been around for a while and the, the, a really good way in business to um, get things out there in Google land and the, in the public, well, in Google land, actually, is to set something up but, and don't use it, just park it. So, you know, a website or web pages or blogs. I've got so many blogs parked so no one else can take the name. It's really good practice to do that. But also, um, you know, a Twitter account or Facebook account, whoever it is you're using, Instagram just just keep those names um and you you don't have to even do anything every time you remember once every six months put something up you know and it just means eventually when you do decide to take it you know in put it in full throttle gear six off we go i only just found out you could have a gear six i had no idea there was such a thing i thought gear five was pushing it um my little car i never go up to gear five ever it's well i mean I, I seldom go over 60 if i get to 60 i can go up to gear 5 but it really does chug along it, i mean it's not it's n- not very happy really it doesn't like going that fast so i keep it at a a, a level um you know 4 and an occasional 5 but 6 i mean that must be really fast surely who who goes that fast oh young people probably with ferraris well, if I get a Ferrari, I prefer, I prefer Porsche, but I I want to see this new Ferrari film and I may, I may, you know, change my mind after I've seen that. I really want to see it. Um, I've been seeing a lot about Gary Oldman today in, um, I've forgotten the, the name of the show, but I'm going to watch it. It's all over Twitter. He was trending on Twitter. Go and have a look. Um, Shadow something, I think. Shadow Trails. I'm going to go and watch it today. So have a great day, guys. Much love from Toddle Poddle and the Tailteller Club. <laughs>